Hi, everybody. My name is Eric. I am a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, we are continuing with this series talking about aspects of our faith that we deem important, protocols and practices, habits we develop in order to live lives pleasing unto God. Today we want to talk about judgment, or more accurately, the lack of judgment, how important it is to not judge. Jesus gives us the imperative, judge not, that ye be not judged, and the wrath of God is formidable. God will discipline us when we judge others. That's not to say that people are not full of heresy at times, false teachers, wacky beliefs are rampant. And it's not to say that the correction, instruction, accuracy, it's not to say that there's not an appropriate time for the word of God to be spoken, but to judge, to sit in a position of superiority, pride, and arrogance, to look down on another believer. It can do real damage. Words spoken in judgment, slanderous, belittling, all of it can hurt another believer even destroy their faith. We all share common ground if we are all believers. And that common ground is found in our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He has risen from the dead. He has forgiven our sins. He has spoken. We are God's children. We walk in obedience We love because he loved us. None of us see the whole picture, but God does. None of us see whether someone has grown up in a traumatic household, if they even had a household, suffering emotional trauma, psychological disturbances. They're hardly able to cope. Someone comes along and judges them. That could be hurtful. Other folks, they'll have something wrong with their bodies. No one will know about it. For them to be normal, it's an impossibility. They're doing the best they can. Someone comes along, judges them. It can hurt them. We look for love. We look for love extended into the lives of other believers. We look for love speaking the word of God in a manner in which empathy and care and power is present. Healing, grace, joy, peace, edifying, encouraging, building up, making strong. Judgment is dangerous. Love covers a multitude of sins. You know, our God is so perfect. I pray all of us may one day understand that He alone can judge. Our responsibility is to pray. Pray and trust God that he will accomplish his will. Well, folks, I'm going to leave it there. I love you so much. Thank you for being here for me. Let's say our prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for being a good, righteous Savior, perfect in in every way. Thank you for extending grace and mercy into our lives. Teach us to not judge. Teach us to love, we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.